beautiful heroes. Welcome to Crafty Error Cookie Fizz. Anybody lurking? Anybody just coming in? Oh, that music timing. That was good. That was good stuff. Uh, now it gets more ominous. The, the, control, the control screen is... The ambiance coming out of it is very ominous. Uh, we're doing more control, obviously. But I have some fun news. Uh, the most wonderful Luckless Lovelocks that many of you know um, gifted me a key to Near Replicant. So um, I want I want to try that. It just came out yesterday. I want to say um, I would like to try it. I we never actually made it through Near Automata, but I think from what I very loosely, confusedly understand, it's a prequel. Replicant is the prequel to Automata. Automata. How do we say that one? I think. Typing in the dark. <laughs> uh, I re-downloaded Control, turned on Assist, and I'm actually enjoying it. Frankly, I blame you. <laughs> You're welcome, Jilly. Enjoy it with me. Uh, Box is currently downstairs playing it as well, so... You're not the first person I've gotten hooked. I understand it's a prequel too, so we must be right. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Welcome, Paladin. Also, welcome, Drilly. How's it going? Um, dr Drilly. Drilly. d d drilly is. Um, last time on Control, I don't remember what we were doing. We're gonna go into the Atlas Chamber, I know that much. Uh, we just got out of the Ocean View Hotel. Um, it's true, I'm playing right now. He is. He's doing it. There's also another very exciting game coming out soon, um, called Judgment. That I think is made by the same people that made the Yakuza games. And to be honest, I've looked at the Yakuza games and they seem right up my alley. Uh, so we might play those someday too. I have one of them that I got from a Humble Bundle. Uh, but Judgment is like those games, but Detective Noir. So like, I'm so there, right? So I want to play that one. There's just too many good games out right now. Okay, I know where we are, but... Where do we need to go? We need to go to the Atlas Chamber. So how do I get there? Not that way. That's a no. It said not today. How did I get here? Where was I headed? Hmm. I think I fast traveled somewhere. Somewhere I was not meant to be. Um, let's just, let's just poop poop skadoop. Okay, so yeah, Judgment, Judgment isn't new, but it's coming out to PS5, which is how I want to play it. I've been waiting for it to come to PS5 specifically. Uh, so that's sorry yes it has been out on ps4 for quite a minute and the reception the seems good so Kill a hiss, I buy a shot. Um, wait are we inside the atlas chamber already lord Miro's lost okay i remember we fought that thing right we fought that thing in here Oh god, and it's back. That's, yep, fantastic. I don't have time for this. Goodbye, good day. Nope. I said good day, sir. Mirror controlling everyone? Suspicious, yes. I'm always suspicious. The Yakuza games are surprisingly and delightingly silly. I know, I'm, ugh, I'm, I've watched Akko play some of them, and just the fact that you collect porn VHS tapes, like, I'm there. <laughs> I just, uh, I haven't done the research to figure out uh, which game to actually start with, um, or if you need to play them all in a sequence, or if you can just jump around and it doesn't matter. Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. What's the control?
control room. Wait, can I unlock that door though? There's a great mix of weird little mini games over the top of the story that entertains me. Yes, yeah. I I always just thought that they were like very serious Japanese RPG games until I saw Akko playing them and I was like, this is completely different from what I imagined. Okay, so we're, we gotta go to th oh, this one? I don't have clearance for this, do I? Oh, I do have clearance. I do have clearance. Oh, nice. I didn't realize, when did we get five? Did we get five from Marshall? I might have gotten five from Marshall. Yeah, you know what? This man's getting a pipe. It's not locking onto him. Hold on. I got that dude or not. I tried. Oh, that was a whiff. Alright, I'm taking one of these with me. Oh, never mind. We're dying. Uh, balls. I'm apparently not going to be very good at this game today. But we're going to do our best. I, If I remember right... Oh, did I have... Oh, did I have the wrong gun? Yeah, that might have helped. Urgently taking it east after... Easy. Currently taking it easy. There we go. Currently taking it easy. Oh, that's the right one. There's the right one. Currently taking it easy after Vax shot two. How are you feeling? Is it doing you a dirty? You feel it in your soul? All right, I'm just gonna blast ass out here because I couldn't fucking see those people. What, are they just gone now? That's concerning. Where did they go? I definitely didn't kill them. Okay. All right, I'll take it. Whatever. I'm not going to ask questions. They're gone. Um, the NSC was designed by order of Ch Deputy Chief Trench shortly before he became director. The container provides a safe method of extraction of uh, Redacted's excess energy output while acting as a humane way to house him. So this is that sarcophagus. This is the Northwood sarcophagus container um, that has... Director Northwood. Uh, the coolant pumps keep the container and its redacted from overheating while the energy is siphoned. The energy is then conducted into to the converters where it is rendered into redacted through the use of turbine generators. The electricity produced power... Uh, the electricity produced powers the entire bureau, making it completely self-sufficient and effectively invisible on the New York City grid. Wow, this man's really keeping this place afloat. The after NSC 01's disappearance by some unknown manifestation of Redacted's power, Northwood's power, the occupant was restrained and a second model was built. The NSC 02 ha possesses built in spatial anchors and that are designed to prevent any translocative effects from its occupant. So, like moving around? Interesting. So that's probably where we would have gotten it hinted at that that was Northwood's container. Those dudes are 100% just gone. Oh, wait. Maybe. No, I don't see him. Oh, well. Just really tired, mild headache. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. I hope that it uh, doesn't get any worse for you. Come on, Tom, welcome. Hello, hello. Don't you hate it when your power generator warps into another dimension? Yeah, it really, really uh, cuts into my my daytime reading, you know? Gotta go find the generator and fix shit up. Nice. 
Uh, I tried to be a little active today. I probably should have taken it easier. I'm making up for it by toasting in blankets with Mira to entertain. Aw, Crafty, that sounds delightful. I hope that you get nice and toasty. Uh, the Oscillator. This is a fan? Is that... Hold on. Yep, okay, this is the one we're reading. Uh, extracted from formal interdepartmental complaint. The notion of a f of fan death has now become widely known in the region since foreign investigator redacted met with the local journalists to explain how electric fans operate at speeds that may suffocate users by overly distributing the air. Our agency is still young. We must take care to avoid missteps. Any explanation given to the public must provide sufficient, sufficient yet vague rationale that will reaffirm their certainty that ours is a stable, controlled world. We must tread carefully, especially in this increasingly technological world, with the radio and other innovations allowing information to travel at speeds previously undreamt of. This is precisely why we must insist that our department handle all communications with public bodies with all due respect. William S. Powers, Head of Department, Public Knowledge and Divisions. Fan deaths, huh? I, I don't think that's a thing. I don't think... I don't think that's a thing. Hey, Blinded, welcome! How's it going? Happy Saturday. Um, is there anything else over here? Are these the fans that are allegedly going to suck the air out of our lungs? All that's over here? Oh, now you're here. Somebody's healing. We got an orbital. Can it heal itself, I wonder? Oops. I don't mean to aim that at the end, but I'll take it. We good? Everybody done? What? Uh-oh. Mods are full. Uh, weapon mods. Let's get rid of get rid of this one. Should really keep this cleaner than I do. <laughs> Tactile spread. Get rid of this one. This one. And this one. Trying to get rid of all of the dupes. Okay, I think we're good. Probably uh, go through these as well. Yeah, they're kind of full. All right. Um, we can get rid of that one. That one. Those two. Um, let's dump some of these. That's probably good enough. You always sleep with the fan? You're dead. You are dead then. You can't sleep without a fan in the summer. I think Japan is one of those places where you... Uh, I know there's a place where they say that that you'll get ill if you sleep with a fan blowing over you. Oh, interesting. 
We don't do air conditioning, which drives American crazy when they spend the summer over here. Yeah, we are, um, we're very accustomed to our, our good temperatures. That is accurate. All right, how the hell? I need to get down. Let's just do that. <clears throat> no getting back up, though. At least I think I need to get down. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten down. Oh. Nice. Andy. Okay, now what? Oh, now use the stairs. There's stairs this time. I don't know if I'm trying to go... Well, you know we gotta do it. You didn't need to go down? Well, too bad, we're going down. <clears throat> there might be goodies down here, you never know. I can't tell if we've been in this room and done the bottom and now we're at the top. I don't, I don't know, we'll work it out. This is the NSCO2, so this is the extra power boy. I can't tell if we've claimed. Oh, is this just the power plant room? But from the top? I'm even more confused. It's too much the room is huge, it is. This whole place is massive. Like ridiculously big. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep going down. We're in it now. We made our choice. <laughs> there was a door that said Black Rock Quarry, but then there, there there was a sign, but then there was no door for said sign. So. Okay. I believe we're at the most the most bottom. As bottom as we can go. So I guess we go up now. It's always funny how excited they get when they experience tilted or tilted windows for the first time. Oh, you mean because like your windows swing out instead of sliding into themselves? I, I don't really know oh, which window yeah. form is better. CD Corns, thank you for the resub! Happy 10 months! Welcome back to the superheroes! How's it going? Thank you for that resub! You guys love and chat for the resub! Uh, well, that's scary. <laughs> I just figured I could do this. We're gonna, we're gonna scoot faster. Take the stairs. Our energy bar is a lot bigger now, and I love it. Delicious. These are the only windows I'm used to? I feel like they're probably the better format, maybe? Not really. healing for you boys what is this dude why is he so strong oh he's one of these we got one of these too and they mean business over here oh in this godforsaken there it is how do we get over there still a dude somewhere Can't 
always catch the stream, but always entertained when I do. I'm glad, CD. I'm glad you could catch this one. Happy to see you here. Okay, this is where we go. This is the black record. Oh, I looked down this hall and then I turned around and said no. I do recall. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's open this up. Get some goodies. Oops, no, put that down. <laughs> Wasn't quite able to open because of the bench placement, but that's fine. My bad. Anything else in here? No. This side, no. Elevator it is. Elevator's broken. No. Gotta get down the old fashioned way. You guys hear something squelchy? <laughs> Can it go up? No. I did hear something squelchy. It was that boy. Now he's gone, so we're good. Shadow is your dog? Cats are no fan of the cold? Huh. I think some cats are okay in the cold. My cat definitely would be. He's a big fluffy beastie boy. He does not give a shit. He'd actually probably prefer the cold. All right, what? Oh. <laughs> I guess that works. I really didn't want to fall off that. If we fall all the way down, we are donezo. Oop, oop. Oh boy. Here another squelchy boy. For some reason this is like a a horror thing. Yeah, also Shadow. Shadow's her husband. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't catch on to that. Talking about Shadow. Shadow, the streamer Shadow. Uh, Crafty, you should drop his link in here. He never manages uh, to make it to the streams, but if you'd like to promote him, you totally can. Hey, you've been misled. Welcome. Hello, hello. Who is Ati? Uh, Ati is the janitor. Oops. Ooh, that hurt. Now I'm stuck. I should probably use my shield more often, eh? The supreme janitor, yes. Yeah, we're just the assistant. We're just the baby janitor. I'm gonna touch this. But who is he really? You know, I couldn't tell you. I'm blind on this game, so I don't know that yet. I'm hoping to find out. Yeah, 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 it's his nickname, Blinded. All we know is that he is the almighty janitor. Um, and he likes to sing Finnish music? That's literally all I got. All right, to the quarry. Oh, this will be fun. Oh, there's tons of things to throw. Oh. oh. I don't like the 
that the quarry workers are so heavily uh, armed. Wow, I did not chuck that very hard. of goodies from those boys. Haunted. That thing was haunted. Which, you know, doesn't surprise anybody in the FPC. Just everyday occurrence. It's down this hallway. Wow, bright. Holy. Ah, just makes a shortcut. Wow, I'm gonna get so lost in here. I can tell you that right now. Still go through the... Oh, yeah, we haven't gone through the ashtray mage. We tried, but um, I couldn't do it at that time. So, we're gonna have to go back for that. Oh my god, I'm already lost. What the hell? Is this where we came in? Yeah, okay. This is where we came in. Let's see if we can sense the direction. This is gonna kill me. There are a lot of neat details in this game. Audi is a Nordish god. I think no coincidence that the soundtrack of his, of this game is Take Control by a band, the Old Gods of Asgard. Uh-huh. Audi hiding some, uh, some godly powers from us. I don't know why, I just want to get up here. Felt like a good thing to do. Um, okay, so we couldn't go through there. Let's try going this way. Nothing, all right? And this is the really bright tunnel we went through earlier, the shortcut tunnel. The roundabout tunnel. <laughs> Asgard agrees. Okay, so there's something up here though. No? Okay, this is new. We're going to a new place. We're going a new way. We found something. <laughs> Uh, if you don't type it wrong, yes, that's Shadow's Link, yeah. Working through Deus Ex very slowly at the moment. Go follow him, go check him out. Both him and Crafty are wonderful streamers. Uh, Federal Bureau of Control, we need additional Diamond Blades ASAP. Continuous rim this time to get a clean cut, to get the clean cut research once. This Black Rock shit is tough. We're going through blades like they're made of dam- like we're made of the damn things. The dimensions for these slabs of black rock they want are outrageous. For all the grief they're causing me, these fire breaks better fucking work a better work a treat. Go ahead and double the last order. Work a treat. What does that mean? How have you not ashtray maze? Oh, I said we have, but I like just kept going in circles. Like it can't be done right now, is what I was told. Oh. That's cute, Blackrock. I'm gonna take- Oh, Jesus! I'm apparently not going to go that way. It doesn't- it doesn't like me in its space. If I remember right, we had to trap that thing, so I- we're not going that way. We got amazed. Aw, thanks, Crafty. Ooh, oh god, I, ooh, I was afraid we weren't gonna make it. What happens if I just drop down and make a run for it? Nah, he'll probably still get me. He'll probably still attack. <laughs> Let's try over here, though. Oh. 
little dark hole. This looks like a magic door um, that I would like to go through. Ah. Out of curiosity, if I... Didn't really break it. It's too, it's too damn bright in here. Yeah. So that's like a shortcut back to the main place, I think. I don't want to go there. Oh. Game obviously wants us to go. Not what I expected. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. <sighs> oh, owie. Ah, I'm on the other side of that door now. Okay. Is there any way to get back over there? Am I trapped in here now? I think I'm trapped. That's fine. Can I open up a shortcut door back somewhere? The <laughs> Cory delivers. It does. It really does. They're mining space now? Yes, essentially. I mean, it's, I think this is like an alternate, an alternate dimension. We, we've gone through the threshold. Somebody correct me if I'm just spouting bullshit, but we've gone through a threshold and now we're in a different dimension, kind of. Like this dimension kind of blinked over to ours and we're able to touch it and play with it. Is this to the power plant? Okay, nice. I did just open that shortcut. Ah, okay. All right, nice. Hey, Babylon, welcome. Babylon, I believe I fixed our issue with your name, by the way. Somebody try to at him and tell me if it's true. Oops, no, that was not open. All bureau personnel are reminded to kindly not smoke in the quarry. Even though the quarry area is technically an outdoor space, it is still part of the bureau, and therefore there, the no smoking rule does apply. Not only is it considerate towards your fellow employees to refrain to refrain from inflicting uh, the harm of secondhand smoke, it is also prudent to avoid the risk of gas fires, unforeseen threshold reactions, and possible creation of altered receptacles. Under no circumstances should cigarette butts be left in the quarry. Thank you for understanding. No, it didn't work. Damn. Yeah, our issue where people couldn't at you because I banned the word baby. Our baby issue. I thought I'd fixed it, but I guess not. There was there was only one way I could do it. I could either uh, take out the ban of the word baby, which is absolutely no fun, or uh, whitelist your name and say Babylon was okay, but apparently it doesn't, doesn't give a shit about that. Activate the explosives? Why are we blowing this place up? I mean, I will, but I have to get closer. They didn't even notice. They did not even care. They didn't blink a wink. Surprise that uh, that went for it. I didn't think it'd make it. Activate the explosives to evacuate the Black Rock Prism. What does that mean? Oh, I think I have to go down there to that console. Mods can do it. Mods don't care. That's why I can't when they can. I thought this is some evil magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's witchcraft, actually. Crafty. reality -o, welcome! <laughs> there you go, baby! See, that's why I keep it around, is because it's funny to see the different creative ways people come up with to say it. Would you kindly? Thank you for the follow! Welcome to the Miro's Heroes. I hope you enjoy your time here. How's it going? Oh, I thought maybe I could... Oh, I think I just broke it. I 
I don't think they know where I am. No, nope, they know. They know. They found me. Oh, Jesus. They know. Ginko, welcome. Hi, guys. Saying it like Moira Rose. Who's Moira Rose? I'm making homemade chocolate milkshakes. If anyone is interested, I'm very interested. I don't think I've ever made a homemade milkshake in my life. I have made ice cream from scratch as a kid. There was like an activity in the Girl Scouts or something where we made ice cream. Oh, the mom on Schitt's Creek. Okay, okay, okay. I've only seen like one episode of that. Aw, oh, man, we gotta start all the way back here. They need to have some more points. Okay, I think that door was over here, maybe. Oh, I guess this is one way to do it. This is not the door I was thinking of, but it'll do. Oh shit. I thought the, the scary spike boy was gonna get mad at me. Oh, are they gonna get eaten by the crazy spike thing? Nope. It doesn't care about them. I can't go down there. It cares about me. I can't get through here. That's my only way out of here. Oh. Oh my god, it did fuck them up. It 100% fucked them up. Alright, I got out. I got out. We're clean. That was incredible. I can't believe it killed them. Beautiful. Let's try to find that better door. There's better door. He's come with optional Bacardi. That's not optional. That's... That's necessary. That is... What time is it there for you? It's noon for me. But I mean, I'll take a Bacardi milkshake anyway. Why not? Oh, that sounds delicious. Okay, all of my things are still in the thingy. Where'd they go? You cheeky little boys, get back here. Ah, You got smart on me. Oh, they called him back up. I have a dumpster. Holy! He just busted out of there. Well, that didn't really work. Oh, seriously? Probably not have run down here. God, these are these are bad men. This is bad. I'm gonna die again. I would really prefer not to die again. I just want to kill that orble. It looks like it can't heal itself. I probably should be using my shielding abilities. But... Oh boy. We got the Wooshy Brothers. At least they can't heal now. Something is screaming. Oh no, a whole puddle of them? You know what? It's a delicious puddle. Look at that, yum. I will take all of that. Sweet, sweet juice. Oh no! Who got me? Now I have to do it all over again. Uh, I was doing so well.
I wish someone would sneak into my kitchen and make me <laughs> make us milkshakes, right? How do you even how does one even make a milkshake at home? Is it just like ice cream and then you blend some shit in it? Is that you I hear in my kitchen? That would be terrifying, uh, honestly. Oh, I did not I did not mean to do that. We were on the E key, not the W key. Okay, so if I'm to remember correctly this time, the door is down here. Yes, okay. Ice cream, milk, and fruits give you a milkshake. So you just like water down your ice cream, essentially. All right, who's left here? On the big boys. Or the medium boys? There's no orb this time. Nope, there is an orb. At least there's an orb now. And there are two boys. One just explode? Oh, I'm gonna get away from that. Damn it. I gotta kill that orb first, I think. I think I got one. gonna be okay down there. I also make my own fudge! Holy. I wish I could cook. I wish I could do any semblance of homemade anything. Are we done now? So. Still something wandering around down here. Yeah, there you are. Are we done now? Okay, sounds like we're done. Jeez. Okay. I'm not a good baker, so, like, I can cook okay, but if you... Try to get me to bake, it's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> like, flat things, puffy things, things that boil over, things that burn. I, I can never get it right. But just deceptively simple. Oh, really? Hey, sassy, welcome. You haven't missed it, we're still here. All good. Making scented candles and wax melts? 
is a lot more involved. Holy, now you're now now you're making all kind. It's too, you're making. You're ex you're like top notch maker. You're extreme maker if you're making candles and soaps and things. That's next level. Okay. Uh, during my weekly inspection of the quarry threshold, I discovered the entire crew in a state of redacted. The whole team was redacted, aligned and staring in a uniform direction. The city, uh, the city in the distance. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained redacted for uh, more than redacted minutes until I had to resort to literally redacted. Afterwards, they were dazed and could not provide any rational rationale for their behavior or any specific memories of engaging in it. My official recommendation for any crew working in the threshold area is to either shorten the length of their shifts uh, or to carry out mandatory psychological evaluations on a weekly basis, or preferably both. And maybe we should order another expedition to the city. Refer to redacted for full report. Or not redacted. It wasn't redacted. I just didn't want to read it. <laughs> um, okay. Should we push this button? Good powie? Got powie. Kablammo! Mirror day allergies. Yes. 100% mirror day allergies. Although mine aren't mine aren't environmental per se, mine are food related. Is this what we needed? This was it? And there it is. Right where you led me. Hmm. The HRAs, the prisms, they mean something to you. I need to get this prism to uh -oh. Marshall before it's too late. Uh -oh. HRAs. Then Dylan. Fuck this. Get up there, Jesse! We need to leave. We need to leave immediately. We are being hunted by the Bright Boys. Uh, I believe this is the door out. I hope we didn't miss anything in here. We probably did. I don't have time to think about it. Close the door! Close the door! <laughs> okay, they can't. I saw gluten-free Oreos yesterday and thought of you. Yes! I still have some in my cupboard. Uh, the... Um, they must be attracted to the prism, maybe? The uh, store that I bought them from has been sold out of them for a hot minute now. Oh. Are they not gonna come in here? I hope they don't come in here. Um. I don't know that I have the- I don't know that I have the gun in spin mode ever. But. Okay, so we got the thingy. That place is now crawling with those things. Do you think the elevator will work now? Nice. Good deal. I'm glad you kept going with this game. Dude, me too. This is a great game. This is top. I love games like this. One of my favorite tropes in anything is a house that collects magical items. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Like, not even, it doesn't even have to be a house, but a building, a, a center, a research facility. I love it. Really, theoretically, this is like the worst idea ever. To get a bunch of magical items together in one place is like the recipe for a catastrophe. Okay, now what I'm doing, speak of Marshall. I'm gonna go all the way back to Marshall. I should have just, wait a minute. I should have just, he's an executive, fuck. Let's uh, make sure this elevator still works, yeah? I should have just teleported. Let's just fast travel. I'd offer to mail you some, but I'm sure you could just order them online. Yeah, I'm, I'll get more eventually, but I'm savoring the ones that I have. I actually don't really mind stale Oreos because they get kind of squishy. 
Like they get, they don't get harder, they get softer somehow. And I enjoy them that way. The Threshold Kids song is a ringtone? Babylon, you are a madman. That, absolutely not. That's nightmare fuel, why? Okay, let's fast travel to... Oh, we will have to go back there. Should we try it? Do I dare try it? There's an elevator, it looks like, in the quarry that goes somewhere else. Oh, I really want to do it. It was probably a shortcut back, honestly. Oh, great. Oh, my gun's in the wrong mode. Excuse me, sorry. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Yes, we can get down here now. No, we can't! It was a lie. Cake is a lie. I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh? Uh, hello? No! Become my minion! Destroy your brother! Disgusting. Right, just kill it. Just kill it. We made it. We made it, team. I don't know if this is... Hold up. I don't know if this is... No, this isn't even... <laughs> this isn't even remotely close to where I should have been aiming for, but that's all right. There's been handling the shooty-shooty pretty well. Thank you! I... I... I agree. Um, I have not been doing too bad in this game. It helps that it assists quite a bit, but... All right, what do we got? Quarry worker incident. Linda, I saw David last night. I was working late in the quarry and he stumbled out from behind some black rock. Looked like hell. I called up to medical right away. He was half starved. He's been missing for two weeks. I guess it's not a surprise. While I was waiting for someone to come help, he kept telling me about some carvings. Something about an ancient tree. I couldn't really understand him. When the medics came, they brought security. They grabbed David and hauled him off. They interrogated me for a couple hours about what David had told me. Anyway, I know you're in the you're on the next shift, so I thought I'd leave this for you. Uh, he was your husband, so you have a right to know. The way security is acting, I don't know if we're gonna see David again. I'm so sorry, Linda. Burn this after you read it. Oofta. Okay, so. Now we've got zombie issues. That's it though? Just a tent, some zombies, and a piece of paperwork? Oh boy, okay. I don't know how I'm gonna make it out of this. One. Okay, we did it. We did it, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, let's find the magic elevator. Let's work on that. Hey, Fern, welcome. Yes, this is my first playthrough. No spoilers, please. But how's it going? <laughs> zombies hurt. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I don't want to deal with zombies. Not what I expected. <laughs> we triggered the dialogue again. Okay. Nope. I need the map. It's somewhere up on the top bit, eh? Today, horrible. Oh, I'm not tall enough. Oh, I am tall enough. Nice. Okay. It is. It's really after me here. Okay. Where am I now? Okay, so if we continue to go up. Ah! Oh, Jesus. I didn't realize it could climb. Of course it could fucking use the staircase. 
Okay, all right. So it's kind of like up there. Maybe here we can get up. Oh, not quite. Over there. Over here. Okay, closer. Not a chance. Um, there's probably just like a very obvious staircase and I'm just not paying enough attention. So the elevator's over here somewhere. Do I need a special ability to be able to get this? Did I just, did I just fudge up? Uh... Not bad. Uh, you're gonna work on some music in a bit. Oh, that's fun. Do you, do you like play guitar or DJ or like what kind of music? I am loving Control. 10 out of 10, it uh, won awards for a reason. So, really enjoy it. Dubstep producer, ooh, the wubs. Don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Cool, cool, appreciate it. Uh, that's awesome that you make dubstep. I wouldn't know the first thing about making music. <laughs> that is so outside my wheelhouse. That's super cool though. Need to find a way up there. Maybe this? purposefully did this. Those astral spikes are anxiety inducing. The things that are chasing us around, is that what they're called? The fucking orbals from hell. I want up there. I want up there so bad. The flashing buggers, yes. Can we kill them? Are they killable? And I'm just... Avoiding it, or... Man, if I was just a little bit taller... close not quite no they're immortal okay cool don't have to try them they're invincible like my girlfriend's refusal to use brakes in racing games hey that's me that would definitely be me now we're gonna need something bigger to climb on uh... oh my god that was almost bad That was bad. That was bad. I was gonna try to zoom me over there, but that is not a thing. Um, I'm pretty sure, spoilers, that I've seen somebody or some, like someone playing this have like free floating zoomy powers, like where you just levitate indefinitely. Um, so I guess I'll wait until we get that power up to try that. It's probably what we need. Since we're back here, I will just go ahead and fast travel to Central Executive. I reminded my girl that the L2 button is stop, and she looked at me with an utterly straight face and said, stopping? That's what walls are for! Incredible. Oh, Automod. Okay. Automod said scumbag piece of shit was bad, which at least it caught something decent this time, but... Confident in myself, I'm not going to let some fraudulent scumbag piece of shit tell me what I can or can't do. Wait, what happened? What else do you stream or plan on streaming? Um, I play a majority of, like, point-and-click puzzle games. Um, shooters aren't really my thing, obviously, the amount of deaths we've had. Um, 
but I like any any game with a good story or good art, I'm there for. So, hence this one. Um, I also play a lot of really, really fucking out. weird games. Data entries from the past month. Marshall. to crack Darling's personal logs? He'll crucify us if he finds out. Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. Oh. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. So Dylan has Are a mind you alien too. Now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. Panopticon. That's a word. I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm, I'm the not director. here for them. I'm the director. Nothing simple here. The fuck is a panopticon? These people took my brother, but... They've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. Panopticon? I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. MC Usher, is that you? Stay with me, okay? What am I looking at? <clears throat> I could use a friend right now. Oh. Is our bro? Boost pimples. Oh, we've got upgrades. Use those. Um. Let's do more launch damage. I just, I like it too much. And then I don't think there's anything you can do with a single point. Do I have any new outfits? No. I want new outfits. I want to be a cutie patootie. Panopticon is a specific name for a prison. Uh, there's a central tower with cells on the inner circle of walls. Oh, so it's like a real world thing. The Panopticon. It sounds, it sounds like an Autobot. Panopticon. Like, Pope wants us to you know what I mean? Of darling data entries um, in the past month. Where do I go? Containment slash Panopticon. Well, that's fantastic, but where is that? Containment. Containment. Mm, containment. Research. Wow, once you get through the ashtray maze, it opens up something, uh, big, eh? We just go back to the ashtray maze. Panopticons roll out. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Big Show Prison from Guardians of the Galaxy as well. That was a Panopticon. Okay, 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 cool. Panopticon was also a dance club here in the 90s. Three levels, all techno with way overpriced drinks. Yo, that sounds amazing, though. 
What are you looking for? Welcome, Leviticus. I am looking for the Panopticon or a way to get to the Panopticon. It's in the containment center. I'm not entirely sure which direction that is. Um... Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Take the oh the Who service elevator. I always forget that that leads to different bridge. places she than must think he's hiding something. And I agree. No, than what I have. Win, right? I, I always forget the elevator is a thing. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Containment sector. Very nice. How's it going, Levitican? Happy Saturday. I feel like if I was ever a criminal, the only thing that would hold me would be a panopticon. Because I secretly have superpowers. You're working! Boo! That sucks. Have you tried just leaving? Just quitting? Just dipping out? Kidding, not advisable. Containment sector. Oh? Panopticon. Altered item. Maximum security prison. Mm -hmm. Dangerous. Okay, good message. Love to hear from you, Trench. So there's a bigger explanation. Oh, and we have a new board message as well. Hey, Jim, welcome. How's it going? Yeah, superpowers from radioactive stuff. You got it. Exactly. All right, let's listen to this boy's full message. The containment sector, the Panopticon, is home to the altered items we find and contain. It is a maximum security prison. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. Hell yeah. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols and angry gods. It's all of these, and none of them. It's something more profound, unbelievable. Finn only speaks in riddles. Unknowable, something worse. Altered items. We've found many. They appear mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They are all powerful, dangerous. Even the rubber duck? They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. We put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical proportions. Ah, let's release the plague. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Especially the rubber duck? Oh no. Really? Let's see what the board has to say real quick. Certain resources loot can be crafted, constructed into mods or forms. We advocate facilitate this at control points and menus. These will only be available exclusive for the director. Nice. Good deal. I feel like Rubble Duck will be the most dangerous as all. Uh, of all yes the alan wake dlc for this is the best yes i've heard i've heard only good things about it i'm excited to hopefully get that far it's good to see you as well i'm glad that you enjoyed this game i just i just i just want to explore everything in here loving it so much hear the hiss i hear them having a chat oh yeah oh yeah oh boy you okay up there, buddy? Oh, he's having a day. Um, I don't know how sneaky I can be before these fuckers figure me out. They're gonna blast a hole in this entire office. See if I can get some higher ground. Interesting painting near the elevator, just FYI. Okay, alright. Remind me and I'll go back. 
I'm gonna start a fight. time I stopped by. Sorry. No need to be sorry. It's all good, my dude. Uh, last I heard, I think that you were switching over to the other streaming service that the name of this game is. Hold on. I gotta go down here to get some help. Maybe we are done. Nope, we're not done. He was hiding in an office. I hit him so hard he threw his gun. Okay, back to... Oh. Nope, that's not what happened. Back to the picture at the elevator. Are you talking about this one? Oh. No. This one? That's Trench. Who is that? Is that Northwood? Is this them putting Northwood in the sarcophagus? The other one hit it? Like that? I wrecked them. Is that what I was supposed to do? Horribly addicted to Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, oh. oh, with powers. Oh, um. It's gone now. First one, the first one, the first one. Nothing. <laughs> gone. Some explosive paintings, I know, right? Just for good measure. I also vaporized the entire fucking couch. I'm probably sending those into another dimension. We hit all the paper in them. The wall. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Put that down. Wow, wow, wowzers, look at our map. Okay. Um. There we go. Secrets! <gasps> Ooh, secrets! How would you have ever have known to do that, though? Who figured this out? Thanks, Sarah. Oh, I shouldn't have stolen that, but I did. It's mine now, bitches! Is there anything else in here? Just those two things. Painting show a broken wall. Well, they show it showed like a mountain quarry, Craig, whatever you want to call it, thing. It wasn't exactly a broken wall, but I got you. Uh, on the note of Final Fantasy XIV, I have never played it. Uh, I loaded it up once, played for about 15 minutes, got uh overloaded by the amount of shit on the UI. Uh, quit, and now my account thinks I've done my entire free trial, and that pissed me off, so I never went back. Uh, it won't let me sign up for another free trial, and I'm not willing to spend that much money on something I may or may not like, so... I've never really been big into MMOs, though. Just too much going on all the time. Alright, we got Security, Medical Wing, and the Panopticon. You can't, you can't say that normally. You can't just say that word as a word. 
Where the hell did you even come from? Take your goodies too while I'm at it. Alright, rock it away. You can just fuck right off. What just happened to Rocket Boy? Oh shit. the rocket dudes. I hate the rocket dudes more than any other enemy in this entire game. Full points. Mine. Mine. MMOs are good only with the right people. See, I don't have like a squad. I don't have a squad of people that I play MMOs with, so you're right. I bet playing with a certain group of people really makes all the difference. Okay. I've never, I don't really play a lot of multiplayer games. Like, even when I was a kid, I've never, multiplayer games weren't my jam. I'm glad you're enjoying it, though. I'm glad you're hooked. It's always great when you find a game that you, like, literally can't stop thinking about, like, what Control is doing to me right now. Where the hell am I? Looks like I already destroyed this room, but I don't remember destroying it. No files in here. Mechanical room. Oh, what's in here? I picked up the new Nier 2, which is technically a remake of the original. Yeah, we talked about that at the beginning of stream. Uh, Replicant. We're trying to remember if it, it's a it's a prequel it's a remake prequel to near autumn automata 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 that one it's a prequel to that one but a remake and it came out after so it's kind of like a sequel yes <laughs> i did start near i did start near and i never finished it i actually never touched it again after that stream uh as much as i i still want to <laughs> Mannequin supplement? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mannequin supplement. The item was last owned by Madame Redacted. An opera, uh, operatic performer from Berlin. After her career ended in a public scandal, ooh, she relocated to Redacted, Maine for reasons unknown. Reasons unknown? If you're a part of a public scandal, there's your reason. Uh, with her came the trappings of her old life, including this item. Locals reported that she rarely left her home in the short years she spent in Redacted. After her death, caused by Redacted, the state held a public auction of her belongings, seeing as she had no known relatives. Various conflicting first-hand reports exist, but testimonies provided by witnesses of the events do not contain some common do contain some common elements. Most eyewitnesses saw numerous mannequins break through the house's windows, tumbling outside. Some witnesses report bright lights. Some reports high-pitched singing. Uh, these are unverified. Numerous civilians inside the house at the time of the incident were hospitalized for various injuries. Two of them were crushed to death. Jesus. Agents were dispatched upon seeing an article uh, regarding these events during the Bureau's daily scans of public periodicals. The item was quickly identified and brought to the Bureau. Oh, Lord. A mannequin? I hate mannequins. I don't, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Um, object and item distinctions. While altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first, it's important to note some very key distinctions. Firstly, objects of power grant, grant pair utilitarian abilities. See file put 8.12 for an introduction to the subject. 
Secondly, objects of power translocate anyone who makes physical contact to the astral plane. This is widely believed to be due to Redacted's affiliation with objects of power. Not every individual is allowed in the astral plane, which indicates the Redacted evaluation who... Uh, which indicates the Redacted evaluates who can, can or cannot enter. Oh, the board. The board evaluates. Uh, thirdly, this is not always the case. Objects of power are much more paranaturally redacted than altered items. Looking at specific type criteria that defines an object of power, it is no wonder they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have redacted altered items for every object of power contained within the bureau. I mean, that makes sense. The, uh, the objects of power that we've picked up have taken us to a new dimension, but... I got you one for your birthday! Crafty, feel free to burn it. Can we please call him by his full title, Near Replicant version 1.22474487139? If I remember right, that's followed by dot 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 on the main menu, because I did watch a little bit of Luckless playing it the other day. There is a little bit more to that title. back in here. Oh no. Really? I already cleared this area. Don't make me do it again. Actually, that's weird. This should be a clear area because I cleansed the control point. Whatever, get fucked, I guess. Using a magnifying glass? What you got there, buddy? The world's biggest fucking scope. Holy. Holy Sky Reaper! I did not enjoy that. Are they still alive? I still got two men at once, and that is my favorite. We're done. We're done. The music pinged, we can relax. Okay. Um, did we go upstairs out here? I don't remember. Oh? Oh? The Mr. Men's? I will say, Adi does a good job of keeping the toilets clean. These are the cleanest toilets I've seen in any video game, so... Kudos on that front, my dude. Oh, we're just back. Let's keep going back and forth between the same fucking area through different doors. There's numerous amounts of doors to connect these two. I should probably keep going forward. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to see this big old, big ass map. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is the place where they take in different calls about things, maybe? Topeka Salt Lake, somewhere in New Mexico, Atlanta, Richmond, and Albany have some issues. Or their green light. Is green light good or is green light bad? If green light is bad, then that's good because there's less of them. Less of them. Right? If green light is good, then that's bad because there's way more red lights to contend with. Get in trouble. Green light's usually good. That's, so that means that all the places that were red had issues that needed to be addressed? I Storage. guess you're Storage. gonna miss them. Improbs! Thank you for the raid! Welcome, T Jumsy Boy. Hello, hello. Welcome, Raiders. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jumsy Boy, thank you for the follow! Welcome to the Mirror's Heroes. I hope you enjoy your time here. Let's get a caster call out for Amp. How was your stream? How was crafting? Are you still making uh, lightsabers? I saw, I dipped into your stream the other day, um, and I saw you making something fuzzy. <laughs> it's something very furry that you were working on. Was good, I'm glad. 
don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be going anymore. This door? Probably up here. This way. Let's go this way. Yeah, central containment sounds right. No, I've been in here. God damn it. I'm so lost. You're making something furry. It looked fuzzy. I don't know. It looked like... <laughs> I don't know. It looked fuzzy. Uh, those who are just coming in, we're playing Control. Uh, if you do not want spoilers, feel free to leave. If you've already played it, uh, this is my first time, so no spoilers for me, please. And uh, yeah, if you need a recap, let me know. If you have no idea what the fuck this game is and you're completely lost, I can fill you in. Medical Wing. Uh, medical wing's not looking too hot. It's looking a little covered in seaweed for some reason. Maybe we don't want to go to the medical wing yet. Oh, I'm making some armor from Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, that's dope. Oh. Horizon Zero Dawn is another, another game I want to try to get to. That's such a good game. I know the entire story, but it's amazing and I need to... I would like to play through it again before we get to the Forbidden West version. I guess I don't get to go through here. Can't get through. Oh. We have to wait for the doors to open? I'm the director! You let me in! <laughs> God damn it. I just started playing it on my channel. I watched Oz play through uh, when it first came out, but never played myself. Same. I did the same thing. Uh, I looked at all that bow and arrow shit and I said, I cannot. <laughs> so I watched his playthrough, but um, maybe I could if it was on PC. Maybe I could manage it. Who knows? I love Ashley Birch. Is that who played uh, the main chick whose name I can no longer remember? Also, did you know Rost means rust? That's all I remember from that game at this point. Rost means rust. Everybody loved to tell Odd that at least twice a stream. didn't even hurt that bad. Ooh, oh, six. I don't have six. Oh. There's gotta be some good documents in the medical wing. Come on. There's gotta be a good story. Remember to wash your hands, kids. Oh, this. Oops. Alloy. Yes, that's her name. Thank you. Alloy. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, bow and arrow is my shit. Is, is shit is my jam. Oh, she has Chloe from Life is Strange. I did not know that. She's also Mel in Last of Us Part 2. Oh, I haven't, I haven't even watched anybody play Last of Us Part 2. Um, I had one of the major plot points called from the very beginning. Like just after seeing a trailer, I was like, mm, I don't think this character makes it. Uh, just as a plot device, and I was right. I know people are mad about it. Six again. What's going on? Oh, fixed it. I fixed it. Wow, I do not want to deal with the infection in this building. Oh, what are those zombies? So this must have been where that guy from Blackrock came, right? They took him to medical. Holy shit! There's a whole conga line coming in this room and I am trapped. I do not enjoy that. 
at all. Our first mob. Where are they coming from? Oh my god, I did not like that. Hold on. Me too. Um. A 16% energy cost. Oh my god. And then let's get a new health one going. There's about 23. This one's 30. Oh wait, 32 is way better. Okay. And then let's uh let's ditch C speed. Hmm, that could be handy. We don't actually have any of those yet. Evade cost, these are the same. Let's get rid of this one. This one. That one. Shield strength. That one's new too. Um absolute well fuck let's put on an absolute mod and let's get rid of else we have a lot of these we don't need 10 and we don't need three twelves all right I took my health down but uh Made some other stuff pretty major. Are shields gonna come in handy with these assholes? I wish they had Ellie's version of Take On Me on the soundtrack, it's so good. I haven't heard it, but I believe you. Hey, Koala, welcome. How's it going? Hello, hello. Unlurk Mirror says six. I haven't gotten six. <laughs> I don't know what I said in actuality. Did you not? Wow, how am I almost dead? What just happened? All the fucking health from this room. Oh, and I missed a file. How did that, how did that happen? Mold autopsy. Oh, gross. Oh, we're gonna have to read that one. I guess that mod to up my health was really doing something. I should take it back. I just wanted to launch bigger, better things. Can I cleanse? Can I cleanse myself of this mold? Man, this place is looking really trash. Something real bad happened here. Ah! This has turned into a horror game and I'm not about it. I'm not about it. That scared the bejesus out of me. This eye is accelerating. Is that like, is that like the dick pills that my spam always tries to tell me to buy? Size Accelerator? Actually be a great name for a dick pill. There's a launch upgrade that'll help you with the rocket dudes since you hate them so much. Ooh, yes. I would probably like that. Like launch as in me flinging shit? Is that what that's called? <clears throat> Here it does good words. Okay, that stuff does not get smaller. Yes. Do I have it? Or is it just in the future? Oh yeah, let's read our let's read our mold autopsy. The deceased was a redacted years old redacted with no significant past medical history. The subject was brought in after being discovered in the archive threshold in an early state of decay that is characteristically fungal based in appearance. During autopsy, the cadaver's plural cavities were related, re revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold. To the extent that medical staff were forced to put on decontainment suits. The procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased high body temperature and undulating torso muscles, presumably, but not probably, uh, caused by trapped gases. Routine samples as well as tissue samples requested by Dr. Underhill were successfully extracted. However, their rapid uh, retrogression outside of the host's body needs to be noted. Cause of death, mold ingestion. Gross. It's an ability when you upgrade your powers at control points. Okay, okay, cool. Gotta love the me throwing shit upgrade. 
All right, I'll work on getting that one next then because I do love to throw things. Oh, is it fling grenades back? Is that what it is? Oh, it popped up to the top. Um. Nopticon says it's downstairs, but I'm gonna. That's not great to keep in a place with lots of fungus issues. Uh, you know what we thankfully have not seen in a long time? Uh, threshold kids. <laughs> Thank God we have not seen threshold kids in a hot minute. I really thought they'd be more prevalent and I'm glad they're not. I saw an inverted black pyramid, the bored astral plane. Then the red pyramid appeared underneath. What's that? It felt scary and bad news. They moved to be on top of one another like elevator lights going up. This is the sector elevator. It's an hourglass, a doomsday clock. It started flashing wildly. The sand is, is leaving, leaving down, laying down. Oh no, felt terrible. Fuck, fuck. Now it's all down and the, uh, the red on top. This can't happen. We must stop this from happening. They rule us now. I woke up screaming. Trapped. No. Something is... Something. Harming? Something is harming. This is a warning. Do not wipe. Important. Oh, why'd they write it in green? Feels important. Oh something vision urgent urgent vision writing this down so i don't forget saw this dream when i fell asleep during dr darling's presentation a food poisoning question mark i ate mushroom salad for lunch somebody lost it during the darling presentation I feel like we should summon them. We should absolutely not summon them. Found the timing pretty forgiving. Uh, basically a no you power. <laughs> that sounds great. I would love to have that. Um, we're gonna do, since I feel mildly safe here, uh, we're gonna do a quick BRB potty break. Um, and then I'm thinking we go a little bit longer today than usual because I enjoy this game. So um, let's just pause. Let's get you guys some tunes. Let's have a quick potty break, get you a snack, get you some tea, and I will be right back.
Okie dokie, did you get snacks? I feel like I never, I've never seen the BRB screen, that purple. <laughs> the BRB screen is, yes, rarely used, unfortunately. Um, I wish I got more opportunity to use it because it is very pretty. A very nice, subdued purple as opposed to our bright ass green. <laughs> um, okay. Let's, uh, let's get back to fucking mushroom, mushroom house. The best mushroom house around. All right, um. Don't have clearance for that. Okay, yeah, we've gotta get six clearance. This place demands it. We got globe. Oh, it's a globe. Oh boy. This is AI-72PE. No unique procedures required, however, con contact should be limited as some report feeling disoriented after touching it. This is handmade, set in dark wood. The item itself is lacquered, hand-painted, spins freely on all axes. While the continents and oceans are recognizably those of Earth, careful examinations revealed numerous redacted and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of them... One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tanrilo. The, there are no signatures left by its maker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect seems to grow worse with prolonged contact, culminating a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in redacted handlers. Oh boy. Globe, the globe does not sound great. Uh, don't enjoy that. Let's maybe not pick that one up. Although it wasn't a, it wasn't an OOP. It was just an, uh, altered item. So maybe we don't have to deal with it. We can hope. Hmm. Oh, wow. Place doesn't look great. A little bit foggy. Nice. Aaron, now that you taught me that trick, I feel like I've missed a bunch in other places. Did I pick that up? No. God damn it. Mods are full again? We gotta ditch we gotta ditch some mods. This is a gun mod, yes? There's no mods though, we have some mods. Launch energy cost. I believe we do not need to, yeah, let's just F that one immediately. Um, I feel like we should not keep any commons. We're better than that now. <laughs> um, okay, under weapon mods. This one is exclusive to Pierce, so hold on. I think we have Pierce, yes? Yeah. Let us zoom 16%. Sure. And scatter. Let's get you a... Oh, no, I guess you actually have... Oh, no, this is Pierce again. God. I've mixed them all up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, what do we have on it now? Ammo refund. Let's do this one. Um, and then on this one, rid of some some Garbino. Ammo cost per shot seven. Um, it's organized by type, so that's the only one we have of that, actually. Refund chance, 11. Damage against enemy armor. Okay, so we can get rid of this one. Damage just in general. Rate of fire. Man, this is hard because there's so many different types. I guess we're only gonna have three open slots for now. That's all I feel I can get rid of. Charge blast boost. 
<laughs> maybe, maybe I did miss some holes? Oh no. Uh, I've identified numerous redacted earlier as well. Oh no. Gonna have to just go busting holes in this place. I'm not touching that. I am not touching that. Not yet. Got more to explore before I summon devils here. Whatever knows that button's gonna do. I feel like those holes in the wall are the best way to get really good mods. Um, they seem to be... How do I get in there? Open. They seem to be, since they're like hidden away, um, they seem to be holding more valuable things. Never finished that sentence, my bad. Okay, cool, we've opened this door now. Um, we've gone through there. Now what? Check all the upstairs offices. We checked one side, I don't know if we checked the second side. Is it this side that we checked? Oh boy. Oh, we checked the side where we blew the hole, so I don't think we had checked that other side. Kind of just did. He touched the butt! Where did I touch a butt? There's nothing. I want goodies. I want more presentations from Darling. We actually haven't had a Darling presentation at all today. That's surprising. Alright, let's touch it. Altered item cell breach. P6 Jesus. is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Uh oh. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Look, he gets his own fucking sign. Just says P6 cell. He gets his entire own area. Oh, we're going back to the hotel. Uh oh. I didn't like that. That was a little bit ominous. Hello? Hello! Okay. Coming screaming man. Maybe. Probably not. This is also ominous. I'm liking this hotel less. Holy- oh my god. 223, that's not great. Okay, this room's normal. Everyth everything's fine. It's fine. Is this another one of those fix the room situations? Because, uh... I don't know how to fix... I don't know how to fix that one place. It was all fucked up. It was all upside down. Oh, it's fine now. It's fine now. And it has our key. Cool. Do we want to know what happened in there? Probably not. It's fine. Must have been a murder here at some point. Okay. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. This man's, uh, overcome. Langston. Oh, Impressive. hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. 
It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but ah, you're normal. the director, so here we go. Normal day. Don't worry about Founded it. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered we items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it this. will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so, uh, just do that. I'm touching Here, everything. The door for you. Excuse you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Can I call you Overcome? Trippid, welcome. Never played this game, watched reviews and playthroughs. Still can't make sense no. of the story. Hope Why, all is well with Langston. you. Uh, just a once, Panopticon supervisor. Once Langston shuts up, uh, if you would like, I can try to explain it to you. Um, it's it's a little bit convoluted, but not too crazy. Um, essentially, we're this girl Jessie. When we were a kid, we found a for lack of a better word, magic uh, projector. And we played with that magic projector with our brother, and it opened dimensions to other worlds. And uh, through one of those worlds, we met an entity that now lives in our head. It does, like, these swirly fractal patterns that are kind of fun. Um, and it, like, tries to communicate with us. Um, after that incident, after we met this entity, uh, something bad escaped from the projector and uh we had trouble containing it so um thank you oh thank you uh oh jeez how many snacks you got in there <laughs> Bogs brought snacks um sorry so something bad escaped the projector um the entity in our head uh helped us stop the bad thing that's all we know it's very vague after that incident however this place the federal bureau of control uh took our brother away so we are currently at the federal bureau we've been hunting this place for like 15 fucking years or something trying to find our brother we want our brother back the federal bureau of a control is like essentially the fbi but of supernatural objects so their job is to Find supernatural objects out in the world, contain them, get them away from civilians, uh, research them, harness powers if necessary. And uh, their, their, their building is called the Oldest House, and the Oldest House is essentially its own magical entity. It, like, changes, it shifts, it moves shit around for funsies, it hides bathrooms, it, you know, does a bunch of crazy stuff. Um... There are two different types of magical items. There's OOP, Objects of Power, which this guy just talked about. He said there's a level five in there. Uh, OOPs are objects that are like, like top tier magic, and you can bind them to yourself to get magical abilities. So we've been collecting them. We now have um, quite a few. Uh, let's see, the research. That's not correspondence. Case files. So we have uh, the floppy disk. We have the home safe. We have the hotline. We have the merry-go-round horse. We have the service weapon. And we have the x-ray light box. So all of these give us a different power-up. Um, the gun is, like, obviously our weapon. Uh, the hotline, we can talk to people who are dead in the altered dimension. Uh, the, the service weapon, when you get it, um, you have to play Russian roulette with it. And if you pass, then the board, which is this magical entity somewhere, uh, appoints you the new director. 
So we are now the new director of this place because we picked up this weapon. Um, then you also have altered world events, which are events that happen out in the world somewhere that create uh, altered items. And then you have altered items, which are just items that do weird shit, but you can't necessarily bind them to yourself. Um, there's a rubber duck. <laughs> They're essentially just haunted things. Thank you for the synopsis. This character is collecting these paranormal assets, just lugging them around like a used gum wrapper in their pocket, not finding them and returning them to their storage space. No, we're not returning them. We're keeping them. <laughs> we're the director. They're mine now. That's a good question, though. I don't know if they're just, like, in our pocket or if they're out in the world somewhere. This game is kleptomaniac, the game. Yeah. I mean, we're the director, so it's fine. It's fine. Uh, there's also... Um, so something has happened in this building, right? We came here to look for our brother. But something has happened here before we got here, and it's released this entity known as the Hiss... Um, the Hiss are uh, a bunch of bad dudes. There's a bunch of different types of them, but they're the enemy of the game. And um, we don't know what's causing them. We don't know why they take different forms. We don't know why they use weapons, uh, but it will, it will uh, not hypnotize, but possess. It'll possess normal people. If they aren't wearing the chest thing like this dude's wearing, I'll probably never be able to get a view of it. But he's wearing this like chest amplifier speaker looking thing um and that's an hra and that is something that keeps the hiss away so um anybody who's wearing one of those is safe anybody who wasn't wearing one when this thing hit uh Killing got possessed close. you see but the little swirlies power might wreck this place that is, before i find that's out. our entity in our head the little swirlies that are going on it's trying to it's trying to communicate that it wants me to touch this thing we're gonna touch this thing. The hiss sounds like a group of failed applicants for the Cats musical. Yes. Accurate. Um, I think that about covers everything super important that you need to know. Um, essentially, we're looking for our brother. <laughs> Fantastic briefing director. I feel like everyone learns so much. Bang hope job really. Thank you, Air. I I need to do that for myself occasionally as well, just to make sure that I'm like keeping track and like following along otherwise i'll just shoot things and not pay attention sounds like we got some hiss somewhere did the show bravest warriors ever conclude i don't know i don't know if bravest warriors ever finished actually um i know the later seasons were less popular so that's all i know thank you again for jumping up to speed of course I'm sorry, I, I did the same thing, honestly, before playing this game. I had seen a couple playthroughs, I had watched some people do some stuff, holy, uh, and I was always confused. Wow. We might need to be stronger for this area. So I completely understand, like, the confusion. Uh, we're gonna eat our snacks now, since we have a loading screen. We have a tiny cheese. Back with burger and fries. Chocolate shake waiting in the wings. Wait, did you make a burger and fries too? Or just the milkshake? And then you ordered burger and fries. <laughs> good time for me. I'll be back uh, to enjoy the already stellar entertainment. Sounds good, Trev. I get you some food. I'm also having food. It's cheese time. It's cheese snack time. If you guys don't have uh, baby bells in your country, you're missing out. Okay, you ordered dinner. Okay. Miro always confused Demorte. Accurate. Very accurate, unfortunately. Um. Oh. There we go. Alright. Fight these boys. Oh, that's why. Jesus, what does this dude fire? Wow, I don't know what's going on. That snack looks blue? Did it? What happened to the no dairy thing? I love cheese too much. Fuck it. 
Uh, the real issue is um, gluten and fructans more than dairy, so. The cheese itself looked blue. I ate all that, so it's gone now, so we can't see it again, but I believe you. Anti-mirror bullets, yes, accurate. Not the red wrapper. I mean, you just missed a W, but I got you. All right, let's preemptively pick some shit up. To deal with these boys, because holy, what is going on? Were these getting me last time? Is that it? Maybe I just need to pay better attention. I think the cheese was green screening. I think that is probably what was happening. I did not eat blue cheese. Okay. Well, they're dead. God for that. All right, we got floor one. This is fortified point seven seven four seven seven one four. And I just <sighs> no. where the shot. Fingers on all the wrong keys. Thirteen, a mailbox, haunted mailbox. There's no documentation about this. Fine, that's cool. Whatever. What's fourteen? Little Red Riding's bread basket. Got it. Hey, monster! Welcome. Your cheese was green. No, the cheese was white. This is a fan. Okay. I'm not like getting any documents here. Fucking Thor's hammer. <laughs> Sledgehammer locked up. Uh oh. Why was that one scratched out? What's on level three? So it looks like we're looking for level six. We can go to four or one. Documentation for all the items, I think, just not always by the cells. Okay, cool. Can't Thor's can't be Thor's hammer. You're carrying it. I am car yeah, I guess I technically am carrying Thor's hammer, aren't I? It was compared to that. I guess maybe they want me to go to four? What's down here though? Anything? No, just a way back up. Okay. I am worthy of Thor's hammer. And we're broke code, welcome! Hello, hello. I am the hammer. Oh! Am I carrying you around? Zero welcome! So much exploring in this area. Yeah, I'm uh, a little overwhelmed, honestly. And you know, of course the map is no help. Wow, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of these little rooms. I guess we'll just take the elevator. I don't know how to get to the other side of things. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One of my girlfriends to tell me I was carrying Thor's hammer and she flatly refused. Rip. I have a feeling maybe I can get to the other side. Over here? Is this one another one of those situations where I'm gonna need flying abilities? their side of these. Okay, so it's pointless to run all the way back here. That's fine. Oh, broke that. Broke that with my face. So Thor was the director way back when? Maybe. Maybe he was worthy. Watching you, little bread basket. I'm on to you. All right, let's go to four. Altered items. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think That's she's telling question. me everything. They could have corrupted the boy. <laughs> you guys see the hiss floating around over there? <laughs> Where's it going? 
Oh, there he is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, we get to deal with that. That's not good. That's not good. Hello? Is, it, is anyone there? Is he stuck looking at the fridge? Let's claim this real quick. Let's just claim this. Cool. Alright, let's go Hello? talk to this poor boy. Is, it, is anyone there? What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My sister oh. blazer never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. Oh, no. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Oh, no. Bridge duty. Oh, let's activate it. We gotta, we gotta help this boy. After Dylan has been found. Fine. Guess he's a one-track mind, I guess. Okay. This poor dude. I really hope we... Please, God, don't let me forget him. Well, that's not good. That one's just shut. Things just super energy conservative, making super duper sure they know what they want before opening the door. Um, the whole place is in lockdown. That's what you mean. The guy watching the fridge. Before opening the fridge door? He said he had to watch it or it would deviate. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it means, like, those places. Must be a cultural thing. Still think fridge doors should be transparent. That way you don't have to keep opening it to see what you're in the mood for. You can just stand there and stare at it. Give some time, I guess. Oh, I got him that time. That went better that time. Had to be a little bit closer, it looks like. You're welcome. Oh, shit. God, these shields are gonna be the death of me. Oh. I'm pretty the sure object of power. I I'm need to cleanse it. I'm almost positive our brother is responsible for the hiss. Just a guess. This will be fun.
Bye, TV. Oh, Lord. Like, fucking Sauron's eye or something. It just took all its rubble with it. Okie dokie. You ever wonder if it's the hiss's fault? The hiss made our brother bad? Is that- Oh, God. Oh, this is breaking my brain already. Oh, barf. Uh. Oh. Oh, so I can leave. Okay. Give you rots your brains? And the walls between dimensions, dimensional realities, apparently? Yeah, apparently. Apparently that is the case. How are there staircases but on the walls? Because I'm technically, that's the floor. So this is, oh God. <laughs> you guys got a headache yet? <sighs> Oops. I'm just, I'm just looking around to see if there's any documents or anything, make sure I'm not missing anything. Although I don't think I am since we're on the wall, but it doesn't hurt to check. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go cleanse this boy. <laughs> Waiting for David Bowie, <laughs> the Goblin King to pop out. I see that being, being a thing that happened in here. Uh oh, we've got a reticle. Something's going down. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's take on daddy. Wow, that did nothing. That also did nothing. Why can't I fight daddy? The big boy. Shoot him. Are they just invincible? It wants me to be down here first. That's lame. Oh, whipped on that one. Can't see him, but I'm pretty sure I'm hitting him. Okay, I gotta move. I gotta move. I gotta move. I gotta move. into my face not cool not cool i think i had 17 times to this bastard in my first playthrough oh lord 17 times it's not showing his name oh i broke it you've never seen labyrinth i hadn't seen labyrinth until 2019 i think I don't think I'd seen Labyrinth until 2019. Uh, up until that point, all I knew was David Bowie had a bulge. That was it. You've still never seen it, Cookie. Oh man, we should have a, we should have a, a party. Yeah, watching David Bulgy. Yeah, yep, that's a name. All right, do I have to fight my way out here again? He's got to tell me no. Yeah, there's still time. There's still time. Not dead yet. I own the DVD, Blu-ray, digital copy, Laserdisc. Oh man. I, I didn't love it that much to own it. I watched it in theaters. Our theater did this cool thing where they had like retro Wednesdays where they'd play a really old movie, which was really cool. 
Um, and that's how I got to see it. So I did get to see it in theaters. I guess I can claim that. Uh, but uh, I, I do not own it. But to each their own, if you want. If you love it. If you love, if you love that bulge, get you that bulge. Until he hits the floor. I should probably use my shield more often, eh? Really gotta dodge those apparently. Babylon, oddly, I can't write your name in chat. Damn it. I'm so sorry, Trepid. Uh, we have the word baby banned. It's a long story. I've been trying to come up with solutions to help us pronounce Babylon's name. Taking out the Y is not a bad idea, actually. You did great. Uh. Baby, now yeah, now you're just showing off. The bragging. I'm. I'll just take. I'll just take it off. We just won't have. Wait, I think I went the wrong way. I did. I'll take off the ban. Definitely thought whitelisting it would work, but apparently Twitch is too stupid for that. Next week, no one can use the word gelato. Oh man, really? God, I'm stuck on a fucking barricade. Alright. We'll just let that happen. And what are the story behind this? Okay, okay. Uh when I started my stream, uh, for those of you who are new who don't know, Boggs is a mod in our chat. He is also my boyfriend. I live with him. Um, for a long time at the start of my stream, everybody, every time I said I had an announcement, made the joke that I was pregnant and that Boggs and I were going to have a baby. So I banned it. Uh, and then just to be funny, I kept it banned for five years, you know, <laughs> it hasn't been five years, four years. How long have I been doing this? Anyway, I kept it banned, uh, just to be funny. And it's really fun to see the creative ways that people come up with to say the word baby. It has not been a problem. Up until now, we have not had a username that had baby in their name, uh, so we've never had an issue. But uh, now we are experiencing problems, so I might have to change it because it's no longer a joke, it's a hindrance. I guess we're just gonna get a warm up out here. Disappear. Did the enemies just despawn? Yes, they did. I hope the ones I already killed stay killed, but they probably did not. Now there's an orbal? I don't even have backup out here anymore. This is hot garbage. I know now why they built this underground thing. I know. I've figured it out. 
it's so that you can get around this battle why wouldn't they just have the battle not spawn anymore that's ridiculous all right we're just gonna die again before we get in here error thank you for gifting us up to monster inside monster inside welcome to the mirror superheroes i hope you enjoy your emotes and your sub barrel you can use the mirror day at amo emote the heart that everyone uses in chat to thank error error i really appreciate that did I just hear you say you're having a baby? No. But welcome, Violet. <laughs> I would rather get my uterus removed and hung on the wall as a trophy than have a baby. So. I absolutely abhor them. <laughs> but how's it going, Violet? That is the proper answer. Are you part of the uh, Uterus Trophy Club as well? <laughs> uh, though I'm thinking of it, if I ever get around to streaming... Oops. On. <laughs> Safe. Uh, if I ever get around to streaming, I'm going to have uh, ban some random words like soliloquy just to screw with my audience. Incredible. Great tactic. I approve. In the event you already, didn't already know, if you need health and no enemies are nearby, uh, interacting with the control point will refill it for you. Yes, yeah, that was my plan initially. I was going to backtrack and go to the control point, but then someone shot me in the face. So I just decided to take it like a pro and try again. <laughs> cool. Okay, so that's how you get around that piece of shit. I don't know why they wouldn't just move the control point. Yeah. If I die to this battle a few more times, we will turn on the- can, can you turn off the assist options once you've turned them on, or are they, like, permanent? Like, there's some games that are like, once you choose super pussy easy mode, you can't go back, so be sure you're a loser. <laughs> can't go back to normal. <sighs> Alright, let's pick up something good. Be ready. <laughs> Fit. He's having a fit back there. That's fine. We'll wait. I think this is our new best friend. This pillar specifically. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking it. Oh no, it's breaking! Oh god. I did not realize these could break. Probably gonna do some mind control to get past this, huh? Oh shit, he's right the fuck there. This pillar's about to go. We're not gonna make it, boys! He's not around right now. Alright, we're going with this option. Gotta get some help or I'm done for. I hate that I can't shoot through this. Okay. Alright. Brother Donovan. Game a long time ago. Duke Nukem or something. What are we talking about? Steve the Pillar! Did we name him Steve? Yes, you can. Okay, cool. They really wanted people to enjoy the terrific story. I completely agree with that decision. It was a good move on their part. 
All right, we'll turn on options then because I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I will be a casual. It's fine. I'm tired of dealing with it. Um, okay, we actually have to go into these options. No, not that button. Um, this mode enabled. I'm really fucking sure. Do that one. Do that one. Uh, do that one. Do that one. Do that one. Do that one. <laughs> this is how I play games when I'm at work, too. Just so you guys know. Let's test it out on these boys that I know that'll spawn. Wow. Wow. Wow, okay, uh, the super aim assist might not be the best. It's a little wonky. I do like one-hit kills, though. Wow, really? If I can hit him. Yes. Okay. Hold on. The, uh, super aim assist is a bit much. It might be the snapping. Let's just turn those two off. We just need invincibility. That's all we need. I don't have time for you. <laughs> Remind me to turn this back off later. You still have to actually hit him for one. Yeah, I know. No aim assist, use spin weapon with insta-kill. <laughs> okay. I don't think I have the spin weapon. I think I only have, I have pierce and shatter. I never actually got the spin one which sucks because I keep getting a bunch of quests that ask for that too. I'll get it next time. I'll get it next time we are at, a, at the point. <laughs> that was so fucking worth it. That was incredible. Landed dead. Insta dead. I love it. I like this too much. This is gonna be bad. I'm back here. It sucks that even after you kill him, you still have to take out all his grunts. That kind of sucks. You should just disappear into the ether. See you. That thing was Salvador, the head of security. His team didn't stand a chance against the Hiss. No one here does. So Salvador is dead. Okay, that's good to know. All right, let's 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 turn that down. I might keep a little bit of it on, but we're gonna turn down some of it. Um, we'll take the OP methods off, and we'll we'll turn these down. I'll give myself a little boost because uh, I do suck at this game. So, in order to not not be here forever. Uh, in the industry, we call that God Mode, and it's the fucking best. Um, okay, so our weapon mods are full. Let's uh, take care of this. Um, I feel like we can get this a better one. We gain from headshots. Well, I don't manage to do those very often. So let's up the rate of fire. Not what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be getting rid of some. Okay. Um, damage on low health. This one. Doing outstanding this game. Oh, thanks, Babylon. I really appreciate that. Especially if you knew how terrible I normally am at shooters. <laughs> it means a lot. Um, got evade energy. Boss down. Shield. You know, I'm never really gonna I'm gonna use shield. I tried and it did not work out. Um, what else do we have though? Uh, recovery's I 
need to open another slot to be able to apply these, I think. Okay. I don't think there's anything in here that we're supposed to get besides mods. So. Okay. The TV. Another object of power gone nuts. Here we go again. Let's cleanse this boy. Wow, it's really, it's really an ominous TV. It's so bright. F to cleanse. Use the TV slash babysitter. Levitate superhero over the obstacle. Nice, we just got levitate. Okay, we gotta do a challenge. A space to levitate. Oh my god, this is this is OP. Who decided that it was a good idea to give people this much power? This is too much power. Oop. Supposed to levitate over that? I wonder if one hit kills would get rid of those as well. This is how we were supposed to be making those jumps. Is it, do I just stay up forever? I'm gonna learn this lesson the hard way, aren't I? I don't, is it, do I always levitate? While well, level, uh, space while levitating to fall. Okay. Wow, I can just, just do a big old smackdown. Fun increased by 300%. Chance of sprinting ankle, 8,843% increase. Yes, you are correct. I also can't, I, I can use it to go up a little bit. I'm not gonna fuck with that. Can I make it? I just wanna see how long this lasts. Okay, not very long. It's essentially a very glorified double jump. Oh. Surprise. It's me. Man, this is this is going to get this is going to get complicated. Trippin, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Miro's Heroes. I'm glad you're enjoying your time here. Thank you, thank you for that follow. This has been entertaining. Thanks for streaming. Are you headed out? You're headed out. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. And I hope to see you for the next stream, which will be Monday, 7 p.m. MST. Broadcast must survive. Okay. Dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. I am. I'll catch you around. Sounds good, Trepid. Have a good night. Thank you for popping in. Lovely to meet you. Um, okay, so uh, are we supposed to levitate over here now? supposed to return can I can I not go over there I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it we're going in here I feel like this room should have returned to normal oh there's a wall it won't let me lame Well, damn it. Yeah, I might be stuck in here. You can go there. I mean, I, I tried. It wouldn't let me. There we go. Maybe I'm supposed to. How the hell else am I supposed to get out of here? I guess maybe if I levitate over to that thing. Let's try. Maybe later. Ooh, okay. There we go. Can't get out. I'd be trapped in here if I couldn't levitate. 
I missed my one-hit kills already, guys. I really do. I know I can't uh, hit him with projectiles. But I would like to keep him from reform re damn it, reforming a shield if I can. And that keeps him occupied. You know what? You're gonna be my lackey, you piece of shit. Come with me. Don't forget to use your other powers while levitating to feel like an ultimate badass. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're right, that does feel cool. Who's hurting me? Screw you guys, I'm going home. <sighs> Bitties. Well, chunks of people everywhere. Search for Dylan in the maximum security cells on the fifth floor. So we've got to levitate, I'm assuming, up to the fifth floor. They probably want us to use this little boy over here. shoot the swan boat dude we'll get in trouble where are you out of your shit anything over here at all does not appear to be okay Sw the swan boat is in the maximum security center i this swan boat, man, freaks me out a bit. Hey, Charles, welcome. In this game, as soon as I got levitate powers, I was rarely on the ground for any longer than I needed to be. Incredible. Oh, man. That was so ominous looking. I hate it. We got, what is this one? A birthday balloon? No, wait. A get well soon balloon. I want to know more about the get well soon balloon. I feel like this is one of the very few games that I feel obligated to 100%. Like, I want all the documents. I want all the information. I want... I want information about the haunted water cooler. I want deets on the swan. What the fuck is that? A crowbar? I love how they were like, what? Are, what's the most, like, mundane but unsettling things? He's so close. Actually, he's not, because he's not in his cell. He's very far away somewhere, probably. Oh boy. Exactly, yeah, side missions. Is it gonna open? Jesus, it took its time. What if you gotta get in here in a hurry? Oh boy. Dylan, what have you done? Hello. Can you uh, hear me? I don't have time for you right now, Pope. Jesse. I'm busy. I'm busy! 
How do I get in there? It's a six. Oh. Are you there, okay. Jesse? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe nearby. the history. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked That's not in. Good. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I don't think that was Pope. I have to see my brother. I don't think that was Pope. Oh, yes. That was that was very suspicious. Uh, Rager, Ragerist? Right, mm, hmm, Rager, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Mirror's Heroes. I hope you're enjoying your time here. How are you? Let me know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> I apologize. I butcher all of them, so. Don't feel bad. Up we go. There's a lot of stairs. Get me dizzy a bit. Levitating faster than walking, you think? Okay. This is uh eerie. Very eerie. All right. I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? <sighs> when I first got here, sure. I'd always hoped she'd come too. To find me, to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come, too, to the Bureau, if she wanted to, but she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so, because she got what she wanted. Great. Oof. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in her particular? Her brother does not love us. Why? We like to ask questions around here, you know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks? They're looking like for me. I don't remember. What about family friends? Were you oh, close with anyone yes. living outside of ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait, we're not. End oh. of session. Monster inside, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Mirror's Heroes, even though you're already a superhero. I'm glad you're enjoying your time here. Uh, so Dylan doesn't love us anymore. He thinks that we chose not to come. So he thinks we've forsaken him. We were looking for this place for a really long time and couldn't find it. And it sounds like they were looking for us. I don't know if they found us and purposefully tried to keep us away or We did choose not to come? We did when we were kids, we said no? I must have missed that then. I thought that they just took Dylan and we didn't get a choice about what we wanted to do. Hmm, I must be misremembering. I want to be taller. Ah, uh, now I'm short. I fucked up. Is there anything else in here? It doesn't seem like it. I think it was more uh, Polaris wasn't showing up, showing you where to go until the game started. Oh, okay, our entity, our, our our brain alien, was trying to keep us away, you think? I won't say anything too easy to let a spoiler slip. Button slips. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. 
I'll just run th I'll just run through some theories and you guys can just be like, maybe. It's totally fine. <laughs> brain alien. Yeah. The brain the brain the brain alien. The brain alien. The brain alien? The brain alien. I think that's how you'd say that word when it was combined. The brain alien. How the fuck? Oh yeah, that's the level six. Never mind, that's how it gets. Brian? <laughs> the, Brian, is that you? I keep forgetting it's called Polaris, so I just call it the brain alien. I see. One door has to be closed before the other can open. Good security. Top notch. Top notch security. Okay. Uh, yes. I will not forget about Phil. Let's go help the poor boy in on fridge duty. Let's actually, let's track that. Um, Finn's fridge duty. Assist agent on the fourth floor, yes. Can I just like... Find something dangerous? Dangerous? Boop. Nailed it, except we want the other fucking side. Apparently. I am so tired of you boys. I have the wrong gun mode. You know, I don't use the pierce mode very often. I really should use it more. That is broken. Stay dead, please, for the love of God. I do not have time for the one remaining man. They really just could have turned down the respawn rate. Oh my God. Top notch security didn't work. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. They gave it their all. At least they, like, thought it through and it wasn't a fucking, just a paper door, right? That would have been way worse. That would have been a bigger fuck up. Somebody's part, I feel like. Spared no expense. Yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> and then it all goes downhill anyway. Mm-hmm. Now my girlfriend is Japanese and they do have paper doors. They do, yes. I could never, hey, this is handy. Uh, I could never do paper doors. My cat would just wreck them. Keep your eyes open, Philip. Keep it buddy. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes, they can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus, right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. So can he not even blink? Is he not even allowed that? All right, Langston. logistics he can't blink oh my god i would die i guess you could like like alternate your eyeballs maybe that's rough though uh central no i go the other Ooh, the security Oh, by the way, I think we found a document. Yeah, we did. Oh man, we've got a couple. Hold on. Let's do some reading. 
Um, Dylan Faden, daily observations, confidential. 9.30, breakfast is brought. 11.54, gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed. 11.57, asks for television to turn be turned on, staff do so. 12, lunch is brought, breakfast is removed. 12.02, eats lunch. 2.38, uses toilet. 4.03, begins talking to himself. Recording speech is not possible due to noise from television. 4.07, becomes upset, throws lunch tray at glass. 4.09, sedated. Pre, uh, the crew clean the cell. TV is turned off. 6.12, he comes to, asks for television to be turned on. Staff refuse. Sleeps, question mark. Television pr uh, privileges were refused due to hostile behavior. Oh, that's what a f shit life. That's gar that's that's awful. That would be terrible. He's just tired, like you after the twenty-four hour stream. That's true. Accurate. Um. Oh, this is Salvador's badge. Nice. He's dead now. <laughs> we killed that man. All right, we got the TV. No unique containment procedures required while bound. A CRT television built uh, by Benikoff and Sons Electronics. The screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum observed altitude of redacted. When bound, the object allows peri-utilitarians to harness the effect for their own use. See report redacted for the results tested with prime candidate redacted. The object is currently bound by redacted. The object was first discovered in local news story from redacted Kansas. A figure had been seen redacted over buildings levitating um the beard dispatched agents to the town who discovered the man named redacted had bound himself to the object mr redacted was uh detained c 39 hq 656 and the object was brought to the bureau for study anchor ocelot's anchor was this one of the ones that we saw in the containment place in the panopticon i don't think it was uh, the crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical sp phenomenon while fishing in the Redacted. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with faint light behind it. It hovered just above the bow of the ship. The crew Redacted by throwing a tin bucket, which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after the vessel lost structural integrity, the ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. The ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the Redacted rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to, dispatched to the White Ocelot's known coordinates, redacted, and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. The agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor. They noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction to the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided by handling the anchor, uh, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the redacted to the U.S. port of redacted. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought to the Bureau via the Redacted. Cool. We got some... All right. Multimedia, which we did, and we got another hotline. Didn't we already do control points? Why are they doing this one again? No. We reach slash tether through control points into the Bureau slash house. Nexus threshold area codes allow for access. You can translocate fast travel construct through the, the control points. We already know that. But thanks, thanks, board. Thanks for keeping me informed. Appreciate it. Cool. All right. Adi, there's a spill in security. as bad as the bomber dudes, but not great. We're safe in here, I think. The sudden stop hits theaters tonight. I can't believe I'm missing an Alex Casey movie for this. Wow, Langston. You really got your priorities straight there, buddy. Jesus. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh, shit. I forgot about fridge duty. 
He's been in there for over a day. I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's... Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. Do you like working at the FPC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife rain. Nice metaphor. Knife rain? Knife rain. Um, Trench. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly better. had his favorites. Little better. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? Yes. It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. Hey, slowly welcome! Just buzzing in to say hello. Now, excuse me, I just knocked over a shaker of salt, so I have to throw it over my shoulder and sacrifice a goat. Have <laughs> a good rest of the stream. Thanks, Lily. I hope your sacrifice goes well. I hope it appeases the gods. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed, at which point I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another ten years, and voila, supervisor. I just picked up a gun. <laughs> or a gun picked me. Incredible. I'll see you later, Langston. Thanks for Langston. I'll be here. I'm gonna go save Like Phil. always. This man is, like, bitter. He's very bitter about some things. Let's uh, touch this and let's up some of this. Let's do, oh man. Yeah, definitely that. Um, some of that. Additional personal mod slot, hell yeah. Three more. Press C while levitating to slam into the ground and damage nearby enemies. Oh man, I'm gonna be a fucking force to be reckoned with. Um, all right, weapon forms. What do we got? We wanted spin. We wanted spin. I think. Sure, we'll upgrade that. That's all we can do. I don't think I've ever done the mod thing at all. Okay, we have a new gun form. And this one can get another one of these. So let's give it... Mm. That one, probably. 
best. And let's also switch this out for spin. And let's give spin. Let's give let's give spin a spin. Haha. <laughs> um Well, I don't do headshots very often. I'm lucky if I get them anywhere in their body. So instead let's do Let's up the rate of fire. Actually. Go ahead and F that. Spin and insta-kill is great because you don't have to worry about aiming without the whiplash from the aim assist. Okay, let's try it out. I'm sure these dudes will spawn. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy. Let's see how aim assist would be helpful for this. Wow, we need some accuracy, I think, is the mod we're gonna put on it. I don't know that I'm super a fan of it. definitely needs the accuracy mod in the worst way. Okay, and then you said doing enhanced aim assist. That insta kill, it's lacking. Oh, insta kill. Well, that's that's too cheaty though. That takes the fun out of it completely. You gotta have a little bit of a challenge, don't you? Yeah, I can see how that would be, because then you've just got bullets everywhere, so no matter where they go, if you hit something, it dies. That would be, that would be really OP. I like how I died right where I'm gonna respawn. I will, uh... I'm gonna go back to... Oh, no, wait, that's not what I meant to do. Step away from the circle. I'm gonna just keep my normal gun. I don't know, I like it too much. Okay, let's go find Mr. Philip. I'm not gonna go super cheaty unless I have trouble. Those guys just need to fuck off for all eternity. Is he on this floor? Or is he on? He's on the next floor. I have to take the elevator. Spawn is also span. Uh, ban. Yeah, I did a lot of variations of like pregnant baby. I think I did fetus. Spawn. Hell spawn. I, I could probably take some of those out. You gotta be real creative. <laughs> It's redacted. Not cheating, I use grip and shatter. Oh, oh, when you're not cheating, you're saying that you use grip and shatter? I like grip the best for some reason, I don't know why. Pierce is really good if I like need to get the jump on somebody, but other than that, it's not good like in a fight because I don't have time to charge shit. So, all right. Phil, we got you. Good buddy. Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. What are we gonna see on the other side of this man, you think? Jesse? The friend is doing something! Philip? Philip? 
Uh oh. That's not good. Is he in there? If I look away, it hurts me. Philip, you in there, buddy? Uh-oh, former had something to say. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. What the fuck? Excuse me? Cheats this fight can suck. That was that was rough. I did not like that. Told you me I don't hate Phil. I tried. A abusive relationship with kitchen appliances. That's true. Definitely should have dodged that arm. Definitely still forget that I can dodge a hundred percent of the time. Uh, you can throw his black shots back at him. Uh, I don't think oh i did not upgrade that i fuck i didn't do that i did not and now i don't have enough goodies it's right here i need one more i could reallocate i guess oh i don't have enough essence to do that spent it all never mind uh okay let's go redo this fight Uh, somebody remind me to touch the control point next to Phil next time so we don't have to keep doing this little trek. It's uh, definitely an oopsie. I suppose I could have fast traveled too, couldn't I? Well, do that next time. I fight him because I enjoy picking fights with bridges. Uh, this is an optional boss. But I will fight him to avenge. Avenge Phil. Yeah. Yeah, I will also avenge Phil. Poor Phil. Is his day. It's really probably the he probably had the worst day out of any employee in this office, I would say. He was left abandoned to stare at a fridge for God knows how long. And then died anyway. Like he tried to do his job. You don't need the upgrade to throw it back at him? Oh, how I would throw it then. Okay, let's touch this. Hello? Jesse? I have this conversation. I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Jesse? The former is the interesting is lore. Something. Oh man, Philip? I can't wait to read it. Have we found it? Philip. <sighs> He's just like gone. If I look gone. away, it hurts me. All right, I'm not gonna cheat this time. If we die one more time, I'll cheat. I'll give myself two tries. It's trying to talk. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. What the fuck? <sighs>
There's no Ooh, black pyramid that's a, here. That was a hole. Makes me wonder who the board really is. The fridge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? Okay. We did get we did get a hotline about this, so let's check it out. The board is calling. The former slash dissonant is back slash not gone. It is previous slash disappointed, and it is not part of the board slash us. Okay, so it's not part of the board. We apologize slash deny all knowledge for the inconvenience. You will see slash face the former. It is stealing slash linking altered items. It builds a com competition, not us. You must espionage slash destroy when possible slash inevitable. Do not believe slash get hyped about the former's lies slash ads. We provide slash offer better bonus packages slash health plans. If you leave, you will be sorry slash dead. And you will never work or exist in this torn slash cosmic reality again. Yes. So what I got out of that is the former is not part of the board. They do not associate. And if we go, if we believe the former's lies and go over to that side, we will never work with the board ever again. Dramatic a bit. Let's see, case files. Refrigerator, the Arctic Queen. An Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 1960s. No cooling functionality. The door is decorated with crayon illustrations by Redacted. The illustrations cannot be removed from the item. All attempts have been have failed. The paper cannot be burned or torn. Background. The item first came into the Bureau's attention after it survived the collapse of New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it served as an appliance in an, an apartment redacted, rented by a man named Redacted. It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building's collapse undamaged. Mr. Redacted, who was out of the building at the time of the collapse, uh, at some time p.m., uh, retained ownership of the item until 1974 when the Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. Appendix, new altered effects have been observed. See file A AI10.F for details. See AI10.K for new containment procedures. Do not have those files. All right, and we've got employee incident. Incident in question occurred on Redacted and was brought to HR's department attention uh, by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to the reports supported by security camera footage, Agent Bilson entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, a homemade sandwich cut diagonally and packaged in a plastic container, and discovered that the refrigerator had redacted his meal. The fridge redacted his meal? Uh... Agent Filson began to kick the bureau-owned appliance as he, he expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. The behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was alerted soon after. Filson complied with security's commands uh, to desist. Recommendation. Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week. The review committee recommends uh, one non-mandatory counseling session. Please, Filson. Uh, okay, now we have, to, we have to speak with, with Langston. Thank you for the biddies, error, separate entity, or board member. Member, Are you the latter? No, I'm the former. Ahaha! That was good. That was really good. Thank you for those biddies. Okay, let's just fast travel this time, because I don't, I don't have time for shit like this. Fast travel. Containment. Think. Propticon one is technically closer than the one we did last time. Hey, Remixie, welcome. You don't mess with a man and his lunch, right? You just don't. You don't do it. Oh, am I at? Oh no, it took me back. Wait a minute. I should have just turned around. I'm an idiot. Hold up. Wait a minute. No time for you. I don't have time for you. Oh my God, y'all, I'm at the maze. When do I get to do the maze? I want to do the maze. So many cell breaches. I guess 
guess life's a breach, huh? <laughs> I'm funny. Langston, oh my god. Langston, my dude, I pressed F. I pressed F on you, talk to me. How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. He never did like fridge here. duty. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral the plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The Hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're Fuck gone. yes. My life just got a whole lot easier. Fridge duty! I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Like always. Okay, we completed first duty. Now we've got other side quests, and I'm here for it. Langston's Runaways. Oh, my keyboard disconnected again. Come on, keyboard, keep it together. Keep it together. I can. My keyboard's also an altered item. If anybody didn't know. Okay, we have enough for the fuck you ability. Got it. Nailed it. Uh, now we have enough for more levitate. Got it. Nailed it. Cool. Astral constructs. We've got nothing. Why is it telling me about this? That was weird. Um. Okay, I will not be speaking with Emily. That is not the mission I'm going to do. Japanese paper lantern, a traffic light, a hand chair, and moving letters. Langston's runaway. Langston asks Jesse to cleanse and retrieve the numerous altered items that have escaped from the Panopticon. He warns Jesse that their behavior has become erratic since the hiss corrupted them. Where? in the medical wing in the panopticon in the sealed threshold hall in dead letters the medical wing all right well the traffic light is somewhere in the panopticon but while we're here the traffic light, the traffic light responsible for these fuckers because holy they really have to spawn every time missing something about this fight that would help me keep these guys gone forever. Besides the fact that they keep healing. But... Oops, shit. Oh, shit. That was almost bad. That was almost really bad. Now this area is enemy spawning happy. Okay, cool. <laughs> Grab it, Jesse. No, Jesse. Let's be taller, Jesse. There we go. This is why I don't use levitate more, is because I will end up falling to my death more often than making our lives easier. Um What part of the Panopticon is the traffic light in? Do I have to, like, hunt for these things? Archives. 
that a Christmas tree? We didn't see a Christmas tree last time. What the fuck floor are we on? How did I get here? What is this one? A baby carrier! Oh no, oh god, absolutely not. That one's just locked down. Cool. I guess we haven't been on this floor before? Hey, it's the globe! We know about that one. I want to know more about the traffic light. Ah, the archives. I'm gonna play in the archives. I have no reason to be in here, but I'm gonna do it. John Legzamo? Who is that? I think it spawned a terrible movie. Oh no. Oh, have I been in archives? No, I don't think I have. Get that one. There we go. Is this maybe where the traffic light is? Well, I guess I'm not in the Opticon anymore, so. What is going on? I don't think it's not going to need me for a bit. Is it just one of the orbles? It's one of the orbles. But not going down there then. Oh, I have security level six. Oh, it's just a radio. It's so hard to tell in here, it's so dark. Altered item behavior changes. Oh, we came upstairs. But I can't get in here. Ha ha! Neener, neener. Man, is there a way to take those down? My god. There's gotta be something I can do. They're a nuisance. Go outside? No. Better things to do. Oh. Guess that means I get to go downstairs now. Uh oh, shouldn't have gone downstairs. What? Where'd that thing just go? Oh, it's one of these. in here instead. Nice and safe. Not covered in creepy fucking bird people. <sighs> I still hear it. It's still following me. Oh. What a present. What a gift. This place is horrible. This place is awful. I don't like it. Zero out of ten for the archives. Holy. I don't think there's even... I don't, we weren't even close to the spawn point to get back to that either. I don't know how we're going to get back. <sighs> that room is definitely trolly. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, my eyes are so watery. Excuse Miro and her allergies. All the way back here. All right. I think. <laughs> How did I even get there? It was on floor two. And I started by coming up here. I thought. Is this floor? Yeah, this is floor two. Makes you wish the game had cheats or something. Hmm. Yes, maybe. All right, I tell you what, just for that room specifically. 
We're going in with God mode. Mir got blown up in control and started crying out. Oh, yep. These tears are definitely for my death. Boo-hoo, Miro's dead. So sad. Oh, okay. You weren't here the last time, I don't think. Or did I just ignore these dudes? These might be the dudes I just ignored. I guess all the enemies are dead in here now. There's something that makes this worth it? Yeah. Cool. Guess that was it. No traffic uh, light in here. in the bathroom, thanks. Mortality isn't working! How's that even possible? Oh, nice. Oh, Jesus. Apparently, mortality doesn't work on that thing. Maybe we should go for a one hit kill on it instead. done yet boys no of course not are we done now holy i think you're gonna want to crank up the damage reduction to not get hurt will will do <laughs> this room is ridiculous uh damage reduction energy all my energy all the time God. It just keeps making more. How do they 
think this was a good idea. Who thought this room was like, yeah, they were like, yeah. Let's, let's just put 18 pounds of enemies in here with no spawn point. I think that's a great idea. There's no fucking way I would be able to do this without cheats. Are you shitting me? This game went zero to 60 real fucking fast. Let's just have a quiet moment for a second. Jesus. Okay, um, there's nothing to do with our mission in here, but we do have some paperwork. Uh, altered item behavior changes. Recently, there have been some alarming changes in the behavior of altered items in two altered items uh, in the Panopticon. The redacted and the redacted have become much more aggressive with entirely new effects manifesting for no discernible reason. The items have been investigated for updated containment procedures to counter these new effects with one successfully discovered to be contained by constant visual contact, the bridge. Uh, but this development is worrying. What if all altered items undergo this behavioral change? We need to find out why this is happening, what is changing. Handling these altered items has, no, now, has also resulted in numerous uh, Panopticon staff being redacted. I would say they've gone to the astral plane, but these aren't objects of power. No one has, not one of them has come back. This, plus the uptick in astral knots not returning from their dives, has me wondering what the hell is going on. Is anyone looking into this? Is there a, any plan? Refer to Redacted for full report. And then we- oh, we've got a new book club! Love, I do love the book club. Jora, welcome! I'm so sorry, that room was a mess. I haven't said hi. How's it going? That menu wasn't there for me? I had the ultimate dis edition? You played in December? I think I left my keys there. Go back. Uh, why are you in the archives? We never told you to go into the archives. Stay out of the archives. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Book club thoughts by Philip P. Unless you hooked me right away. It began with visceral dismemberment scenes and this great unsettling vibe created by the unexplained creature they named The Fix. As an avid horror fan, I loved how this story veered from the genre uh conventions into something a little more for lack of a better word weird everything felt familiar but just a little off the characters even comment on it saying how their lives felt out of control as if they were just programmed to perform the same empty actions over and over very meta and i love the way they left the ending wide open what happened to the guy uh to the guy ordered to watch these monitors for the rest of his life did the fix get him is he dead did he end up in a parallel reality with the others? We don't know, and that's okay. Uh, all in all, an interesting read. I gave it a solid four out of five. Points deducted for some of the clunky dialogue and unbelievable choices the characters made. I mean, who the hell would follow orders from their boss in the middle of such a horrible slaughter fest? But I guess I shouldn't demand too much realism in a work of fiction. This is <laughs> so filth. Philip is the guy that was watching the fridge. There's a lot of parallels to his review and his literal life because he did listen to his boss in the middle of a horrible slaughter fest. It did cost him his life. Um, it said, what happened to the guy ordered to watch those monitors for the rest of his life? Did the fix get him? Is he dead? Which is funny because that's what he was ordered to do and he did die. That's really interesting. Poor Philip. <laughs> Rip. 
Rip Phil. Rip Phil! Poor Phil. We went in here, yes? I think we looked at those, though. Doesn't seem to be any documents, though. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh! Oh, no. Stepping to the empty street and flash to do the flash to me, but you don't touch it and don't dream of it. Ah, we'll watch it this way. It's bigger, better, and more terrible. Is that supposed to be Audi? Why is her arm that long? But Star Captain Eagle! Uh, yeah. Can I poke it with a stick? Okay. Bureau rule number 74. Always be suspicious of things that weren't there before. What? Pro tip. Looks safe to me. Over. Wait! It's not even plugged in! <laughs> Captain Hee Haw, why is what Topher screamed? I take it that was the, uh, oh, what is it called? The thing. The thing, the Benikoff, the Benikoff. I take it that was them encountering the Benikoff. All right, well, you know, I spoke too soon earlier saying we hadn't found one of those in a while. These are like the best, I need a room that looks like this. Like this wall, just the absolute soundproofing, I need that. I just want a room of, full of silence. It sounds so nice. Okay, what else we got going on? We went in this room. Yeah, that sounds right. They have a different definition of safe than we do. The Threshold Kids? I hope the Threshold Kids are dead. Oh, there's one. An Opticon Methods Proposal. Oops. Uh, in this proposal, I'd like to explore the matter of contain the containment policy. When an altered item enters the oldest house, we thoroughly investigate any possible con uh, combination of actions or words or materials that will prevent the item from applying its altered effect. However, I work with these entities every day and I have a good reason to believe that the a less convoluted form of containment is possible. The items crave redacted. If we initiate a series of redacted, uh, phrasing the items, praising the items, or perhaps incorporating their images into pieces of redacted, that could be visited throughout the Bureau. I believe altered items would behave without needing to resort to redacted or redacted, which only leads uh, led the items to feel mistreated. If we treat them like criminals, we can't be surprised when they try to escape. So they're saying that they crave people worshiping them. And if they praise them or put them somewhere where they can be admired and more people admire them, then they'll be placated, I guess is the idea there. Ah. 
That's the picture from the motel. Isn't it? Oh, that wall does nothing. Pretty sure that's the picture from the ocean view, though. Okay. Then we're back here. Cool, so we've done everything on this floor. There isn't another floor. Where was that in this on. Besides that thing wrecking the entire world. Can't get into that room on this floor. I'm sitting for whatever the fuck it is. We went in here as well, maybe, possibly. I never want to have to come back to this. Oh. Listen to me. You've yeed your last haw, understand? I yeed no haws. In the FPC, no one can hear you scream. Our soundproofing inf infrastructure is really nice. That's true. Oh, I'm full up. Okay, hold on. Get rid of more mods, I guess. Um, we've got 49, so let's... Energy, 10%. Oh. Speed, 68. Okay. I guess they're assuming that you're going to be using more shields than I have been using. Probably why, uh... Whatever that one is on there. Um, ammo cost per shot. This one, let's upgrade to. Uh, no, I can, I can keep where it is. Let's do. F that one. Better one of those. That one. Cool. Now we picked up a shatter projectile boost. I get so stressed when choosing which mods to toss, even though I only use like two types. I know, I'm also stressed out about it because like, what if I decide I want the better gun later? It's stressful. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh oh, I thought that was a picture of Trench and I was like, excuse me, I'm the director. <laughs> but it wasn't, I don't know who it was, but it wasn't Trench. <laughs> through all these offices? Oopsie. Oh, I guess we did not. Oh! Oh! Let's see if we can't help this dude. There you go, buddy. Ouchie. Fucking shit over there, I guess. Is this the way out? I don't want to go out yet. Hold on. Wait a minute. Not yet. Drop like candy in the post game areas. So don't worry. Okay. That's good to know. By the end of the DLC, uh, it was all five plus. 
Oh, you only keep levels five and seven. I see. I'm trying to keep like one of every type. This is my main goal. That's just down to the orchids. Okay, I think we've gotten everything in here. It's been kind of chaos, but I think we're good. I hope so. We're leaving. Really worried that that door had to open all the way up before we could get out. Open? Oh my god, that stressed me out. I thought we were gonna be trapped forever. Okay, um. We need to find the fucking traffic light. I don't even know where to start. Besides, so apparently not level two. We go down to level one? I don't know if we've ever actually been down there. Oops, what gun am I using? the altered items this should have calmed down you think we done we good everybody feel better yeesh okay we have been on this floor and there is no traffic light. I don't think. Only goes to one and four. Interesting. Wonder what happened to three. Maybe the altered items don't want to be found? They definitely do not. Once you experiment with all the guns, you pretty much stick with the two you're most certain, uh, and then you can concentrate on gearing them up. Yeah, that's a good tactic. It's, you know. Not how I was going about it, but it's a good tactic. Just gonna walk away. You guys didn't bring like checkers or anything, did you? Any active duty security personnel found engaging in non sanctioned leisure activities will be relieved of duty pending review, sir. You could have just said no. Jesus. We do have two paladins, yes. <sighs> Let's, uh... Oh man, am I gonna make that? Okay. <sighs> Let's go to level three, maybe. Ooh, can we make that? notice <sighs> shit <laughs> there good good deal good save um there looks to be doors that we can't get to normally on the sides over here maybe wait hold on <sighs> I might be wrong about this but we're gonna find out no, you can get to this one, it looks like. Oh, no, maybe not. Open? They aren't gonna open. Hmm. Okay. Baited! <laughs> this is gonna... Oh, shit! I'm onto something, Jesse. Well, I live here now. 
Oh shit. No, we're done for. We're done for. We need more levitation. We need longer levitation. Ah, balls. Oh, ketchup water. Jor, that's the worst. I am so sad for you. That sucks. I guess maybe I'll go ahead and stop here. <clears throat> we'll work on finding Langston's Runaways on the next stream. Uh, we've been going for like a good four hours, so it's a longer stream than normal. Um, next time we'll work on Langston's Runaways. We'll hopefully be better at flying. And uh, we will continue with control. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here with me for a longer than usual control stream. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your time. I certainly did. Even with all the ridiculous enemies, uh, because god mode is a godsend. So, uh, <laughs> bless the devs for that one. I seriously don't know what they were thinking if they had that normally and then had no god mode. That is ridiculous. Um, my next stream will be Monday. Monday at 7 p.m. MST. I hope to see you guys there. Um, I might be switching Monday's streams to Tuesdays um, because of conflicting appointments. Uh, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see if I can make it happen. Um, until then, guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you're headed out, let's look and see if there's anyone to raid since it is a weekend. We might be able to find someone. But if you're headed out, have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, is this true? Hold on. Is, is Twitch lying to me? It is not lying. Okay, Amp is live again. He raided me and is already back live. Um, so, actually, you know what? Since it's been a long stream and I'm tired. If you guys want to go uh, to a different stream, please go support Amp Props. Uh, I'm not gonna do an official raid today just because it has been a longer stream and Mira's tired and hungry. <laughs> so I need to dip out immediately. But please go support Amprops. He's a wonderful member of this community and he streams a ton. It looks like he is doing um, some Lego Star Wars. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. Uh, and Error, thank you for the biddies. Thank you, thank you for those bits. Monster Inside, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Mira's Heroes. Ragorist, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Mira's Heroes. Trepid Time, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Mirror's Heroes. Error, thank you for gifting a sub to Monster Inside. Monster Inside, not only are you a hero, but you're a superhero. So, uh, welcome. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your sub barrel. Error, thank you for more biddies. To... Oh, God, I'm so bad at this one. To Jumsy Boy, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Mirror's Heroes. And props, thank you for the raid. I'm sending some people hopefully your way. Um, would you kindly, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Mirror's Heroes. CD Corn. Thank you for the resub. Hi, thank you for the 10 months continued support, CD Corns. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you on Monday for more control. Until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.